Hi guys, this is Ian again with another tutorial video and this time we are talking blog security. Okay, blog security. Now, a lot of people use WordPress uh, blogs to build websites. I do for customers, okay? And they are very, very good, exceptional. The platform is very fantastic in my opinion okay but there are some downsides to it and that is on a very fresh blog I've just created this blog it is fresh it's got no con content on it or anything I've not even changed the title or anything I've just created this and will delete it afterwards for this video okay now a very fresh um, installation is very vulnerable okay now I'm going to give you some free advice okay so here we go uh, what I'm going to do is go into the dashboard and go to the themes once you have added your um, your new uh, blog okay there will be several themes in here um, a fresh installation will provide you with three frame uh, free themes to choose from okay so you choose one of those and then you must click on the others and I'm not going to delete this one it won't let me in fact which is good but I would delete the other two that you get for free because hackers can get into them okay don't ask me how they do it I don't know I don't even want to know but for our customers, I started to create some blogs for them, and they were being hacked. Uh, somehow they got into the system, and then they cleared out all the files and folders that I'd created, spent hours doing, and then just added one file. Okay, and that was a, an HTML file, just one page. And it got this waving flag on it, shouting out, I'm not going to even tell you what it was saying, but that's what hackers do. They've got nothing else to do. They're there just to destroy. Okay? It's a full-time game to them. So what we need to do is to secure our blog. So if you've had one off me in the past, or you are anticipating building a web page with WordPress, congratulations. It's a great thing. But you do need security. Over on my blog and all the blogs that I own and I've created for my customers I use what's called WP Total Audit okay now I'm going to show you on this fresh um, install here the challenges that you can have and that's this so we go to I've added the plugin and I've put my license code in. That's what you must do to activate it. And I've actually clicked on one, actually. This one. Okay, this top one here. You need to make sure that once you've installed this, and you can get this for $10 on the website below. Okay. You need to make sure that as many as these as possible are green. Okay, maybe this one you'll get away with for a bit. Now, what I, why I say that is this. Google, who own the world, okay, one day they're going to disallow the protocol at the beginning of a, um, a web address that you enter into your search uh, engine. The protocol being HTT. P, they're going to end that because they all want us to have secure websites that visitors to our website can trust. Now, for instance, over on this one, I have bought a certificate, an SSL certificate. So therefore, because, you know, uh, I wanted it secure. So now when you look in the web address, it says secure. Let me just show, show you this if I can. Yeah, so this is secure, okay? Now, on this one, it isn't secure. It will never be secure because it's only HTTP. This one is 
HTTPS. It has a S, a certificate. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get on with the rest of them. So I'll show you how this works. Okay, what you need to do is to click on each one. So I'm going to click on this one, fix now, simple. Okay, and all you do is click OK. And it's fixed. You don't have to go into all the files and folders and create uh, and sort out different things. You click on that, and then you click, and that's it, it's fixed. Okay, and you keep coming down. Installation plugins are active, so you click on that, and it tells you which ones are not active. Okay, so if they're not active, or they need upgrading or something, then you need to act on what WordPress Total Audit is telling you. And this is how you make your site secure. So in other words, you've got to alter the time. You want it running on your time, and I need this running on London time because I'm in the UK, so I'll click on that, and I would alter it. Alter it. This one, no default content. Hackers can get in. There is a page called Sample Page. Delete it, name, rename it something else, and add a bit of content. Okay, so that is how it works. And this is only $10. And I could have saved a fortune in time. And time is money. Okay, by, by buying WordPress Total Audit. Um, a lot of it earlier and adding it to the blogs that I created for my customers. Now they've all got them now, so everybody's happy. Okay, and I also create a backup. Okay, so that's a, another great thing. You need a plugin called WP Clone. That one will work to back up your blogs. Okay, that way, if it does ever get act. Because uh, maybe one day they might work out a way to get past this. Who knows? These hackers, it's a game to them. They love it. They sit there for hours and hours and hours, like some people do on games, working out a way of, how can I destroy this? How can I destroy that? That's what they do. So, what you need to do is get a WordPress clone, so you've got a backup, and then if they destroy it, you just use a backup. It's as simple as that, okay? Because when they get in, they delete every single thing. They just leave that one file. So, how can you get out of this for just $10? You click on this on my blog. The link is below, and that's it. Okay, my friends, it's a one-time payment. It's not a monthly payment. It's a one-time payment. And then you've got that protection. Okay? So this is Ian signing out saying bye for now and thanks for listening. Please comment below. Uh, please feel free to comment below. Bye-bye now.